So, um, I said in my last video that I would do a review on this Samsung motion sync machine that I have. And um, so here it is. I usually have it, like I said, up in on a shelf in um, one of our closets in the house because I don't really use this machine that much. Which it's kind of unfortunate, but it's because, okay, I bought this machine at Kmart. Uh, originally it was $399 and I said no way Jose but this was like six years ago whenever these first came out um, more than likely the reason why Kmart got some was because Sears got some Kmart and Sears are the same company the same affiliated whatever's so um, I told myself no well, as years progressed, they kept dropping the price, dropping the price, dropping the price. Well, this month, right now, we're currently in August. It's like August 13th or August 14th or something like that. I purchased this back in April, and it was marked down to $99. So I was like, okay, yep, I'm getting it, picking it up. It had been sitting there for a really long time. I liked the color because I don't like that ugly red color. And um, I didn't care if it had the power the power nozzle or not even though it would be nice i believe it does have these electrical hole port thingies right in there i believe that it could possibly be converted it may have the attachments it just didn't come with the right hose and whatnot but i don't really know um these machines aren't as common as you'd think not here in america really so it's not really easy to find accessories and things for it. But anyhow, this machine came with three vacuum cleaner heads. You have a parquet floor tool, which, as you can see, I have never used. You have this rotary turbo nozzle for the hard floors, which has like pretty much a copycat of the Dyson carbon fiber filament pieces. These might be carbon fiber. I really don't know. You know how Samsung is. Um, it has stiff bristles right here and it also has um, these groovy thingies right here so this is a carpet tool um, obviously there's no way that they would put these um, hair grabbers or these delinting red velvety thingies on here if it wasn't for carpet and I mean these stiff bristles to make the carpet lines so it's definitely a hard floor tool or I mean it's a carpet tool and um, there are these unlocky buttons, and there's also air and air vents, so it actually spins. But you can take this brush out. There's a little belt here. Clean it all up and whatnot. Hopefully I can... Let's see if that worked. Looks like it did. So this... Or this... Or this nozzle, my goodness, has a little hooky thingy here for the back of the machine this does not um, also it comes with this dirt sensor this is radio frequency controlled by the rest of the machine it only turns on when it's super 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 close to the handle um, where the radio frequency comes out there's battery door here and it does actually work really well it goes red and green they advertise it at the bottom of the wand but since it's universal I put it at the top of the wand I connect it to the handle and then connect the bottom piece to the wand so it's right there at my fingertips I can see it a lot better and then of course you have this tool this is rubberized here in the front you have a carpet and hard floor setting I believe that's carpet and it's a pretty nice um, tool. You can see you got the bristles up front. You have these rubber squeegee thingies, which I believe might hide when you flip that in. Yep. And they pop out when you're not. I don't... That is carpet. And that is hard floor. So carpet, you get the bristles. It has dual roller brushes on the back, which are rubber. And you have a big suction inlet with more of those little red velvet scrubby thingies. The wand is extendable just by pulling. All you do is push or you pull. There's no weird button like this to 
unlock and lock it. You just push it down or you pull it. So it goes forward and backwards. Pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Um, the one thing, though, that I have to say about the wand is when you do have it extended all the way out, it is kind of cheapy feeling because, I mean, it's too stubby to use um, not extended out. I mean, collapsed down, it's probably like the length of your forearm or from your tip of your arm to your elbow or your fingers to your elbow. You have a power on off switch on the main base and you also have a retractable cord button, as you can see. You have the motion sync design, which pretty much lifting this off the ground, you can see what it does. The, the wheels create like a A-frame TP sort of thing, and it hovers the machine to float freely, and it has a caster wheel on the front. The machine opens by lifting up this little lever, and this tongue thing pops up. That's what locks the main part of the machine down. You can see it fades into a pattern. It's really nice. There's also um, a texture here. So this is your handle to lift the portion of the machine out. You have a filter here. This might be hygienic air technology. I believe this is a HEPA filter. <laughs> yeah, so this is your HEPA. You can see it's got some weird stuff in there. I don't think that this is replaceable. It might be, though. I don't think so. So, as you can see, it's spotless in there. There's your suction intake. And that just slides down like that. Um, your dirt comes up through the bottom of the, the uh, base. It comes inside here. And I'm going to try and do this with one hand, so bear with me. Um, it comes up through there. It goes inside the cyclone, which is weird because it's kind of like a reverse roll, whereas most vacuums, it comes down, filtered out through here and into the engine or into the motor. The dirt actually comes through this bottom portion, so it's kind of in reverse. This twists out of here and it's removed. So your dirt comes up through this tube and it comes in through here in the vacuum. It spins around, as you can see, it's kind of corkscrew style. It all drops into here. But then it's also recaptured through this shroud because this hole is closed off, as you can see. So the dirt comes in through this filter screen after it's come through the pipe, which is kind of a dumb design, but whatever. So the, it actually filters out really well, surprisingly, even though the dirt intake where it comes into the vacuum and then it leaves the bat or the canister are like right next to each other. It goes up inside. Um, that part of the machine up inside this top portion here there's a little inlet that you can just fit your finger into this opens up here's your filter you can see it's got a little bit of fuzz on it but other than that it's pretty much clean your dirt comes up inside these cyclones and what it does is, is it's just like a Dyson. I, I think there's like 12 or 14 different cyclones inside here. They're little tiny things. There's a better shot in here. They're little tiny holes. It actually came with a little bristle brush. It looks like a bottle brush for a baby. The dirt spins extremely fast because these are tiny cyclones. And it drops down through those. Those are the cyclones as well. The clean air goes on the outside edges, but all the dirt drops through the center. Or maybe it's the clean air goes through the center and all the dirt kind of centrifugal force spins out. And it lands into this little bottom tray. And it's designed so the dirt kind of all collects down here in its own little compartment here in the back. So when you open it, it empties out through this little opening here. So it's kind of confusing, but I'm going to pause this video, put it back together so I don't spend that much time trying to explain how this vacuum works. But that's how the cyclonic technology works, and it works really well. This is an upgraded version to Samsung's other multi or cyclone force. This is their super cyclone force 
it is Cyclone Force Multi. It's not just a dual Cyclone Force because it has, let me think, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 Cyclones. I was right. Okay, just a second. Okay, so I have it all back together. You have to put the plastic bin on first, which I already knew this, but sometimes I get confused. You have to put the plastic bin on first, then put that black shroud up in there. There's a, bl uh, a little clip thingy that you have to line there on the front. And then there is the blue clip there on the back that has to be aligned as well. And anything blue is an action piece. And these cyclones are cone shaped on the inside. As you can see, this is clear as a bell because there's no dirt that gets inside this part. This is where your fine dust chamber is and this is a larger dust chamber. And it looks like the vacuum doesn't hold that much dirt because your max fill line is like right there but you got to understand I mean this is a big container it does actually hold quite a bit of dirt if I could hold it up you can see it does hold quite a bit of dirt even though the fill line is like right at the bottom of that shroud it's got a big belly at the bottom of the unit where it kind of cups in here it holds a lot of dirt and also you can't close this filter or this lid unless the filter is in place because of this little plastic doohickey thingy here the filter has to be in place correctly so that little plastic thing can slide as the whole top closes and then this just sits back down on there and then it's on also I wanted to add that this handle is also radio controlled the, ho the hose is not connected to the machine but when I press the power button, it works. So there's going to be a lot of pausing and scene changes because I don't have many minutes left before I'm done, before this thing's up and I can't upload it. So the power switch, your um, suction up and down, which there's only two speeds, and then silent is also pretty much low speed. It's weird. So I'll show you. So I guess I'm going to have to do a part two about this machine because, I mean, it is a canister. There's a lot to get to. I mean, there's a different attachments and things. So I'm going to have to make a part two, stop this video, and make another one. So here we go.